sounds like gibberish. Hey guys, it's Josie, and today I'm going to be doing a video um, with three makeup looks for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Um, and this is just my personal preference. I know there's a lot of opinions on how much makeup you should be wearing at what age. Um, if you don't like this, just don't watch it. This is just what I do. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on with the video. Okay, so starting off, this is the sixth grade makeup look. And I'm starting off taking this cleansing white from Pons. And this is just cleaning off my face and getting any makeup residue off if there is any. It's really important to wash your face with soap. Don't just use the wipes. Um, but then I'm taking the Aveeno Daily Moisturizer and I'm just putting this on my face. I put it on, I know, in a weird way. This is just how I do it so I don't get too much. Then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and putting a tiny bit under my eyes because in sixth grade, you're already naturally super pretty and your, uh, your, your skin is really clear. Um, so this is just to take any dark circles if you do have any and I'm taking this baby lips from the electric um, edition and I'm putting a tiny bit and rubbing it in with my finger this just um, creates like a lip stain and yeah it just gives a little tint to your lips and I'm taking the Maybelline the rocket mascara and I'm just using a tiny bit of this because you don't need a lot of makeup when you're in sixth grade When I'm done with the mascara, um, that is the whole look. So yeah, I hope you guys like the sixth grade. Now moving on to the seventh grade makeup, and I'm just taking the same Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Don't forget that I am starting off with the clean face and the moisturizer. It's very important to moisturize your face. And for this concealer, I'm just putting it on any blemishes or discoloration on my skin. And then make sure when you're blending your makeup, your concealer, and that you pat your hands so you don't create any premature wrinkles. After that, I'm taking this Dream Wonder powder from Maybelline and a brush I got from Claire's. And I'm just dusting this all on my face to set the concealer and make sure I don't get oily throughout the day. And I'm done with the powder. I'm taking the same, the Maybelline, the Rocket, from um, pop mascara and I'm just applying this to my eyes and doing a little heavier of a coat so for sixth grade say you did one coat you can do a little more for seventh grade and I love this mascara because it just makes your lashes super voluminous and long and you don't have to put on a lot also it's waterproof so that's also great and when I'm done with that I am taking the perfect one um, eyeliner and I'm putting this on my tight line this is just a personal preference um, I didn't do this a lot in, in seventh grade but it just makes your eyelashes look thicker I'm sorry my phone just went off then I'm taking this smoochies um, by covergirl and this is a really cool it gives like your lips like a metallic shape so it's less than lipstick but it's not quite like chap tinted chapstick. And I'm taking this um, cream blush by Maybelline and I'm just taking my fingers and I'm patting this on my cheeks and rubbing it in. This is great to give your face a little more color without being too harsh because after you put on the powder and the concealer it does take away your, the natural colors of your face. When I'm done applying the blush, that is the completed makeup look for 7th grade. Then, now moving on to 8th grade. So I'm starting off with the moisturizer I already have on my face. And I'm taking in this BB cream. And this is great because it's a light coverage. It feels really light on your skin. It also has SPF 
and it moisturizes your skin at the same time. So this is just a great product and I'm just blending this in with my fingers and make sure that you're also patting when you do this too. I know it doesn't look like it am, but that's just because it's sped up. When I'm done blending all of that in, I'm moving on to the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer once again and I'm put, applying more of this under my eyes into a triangle shape because in 8th grade I learned more about makeup and applying it and like how to lighten up your face and stuff like that. And then I'm taking this and I'm putting it on any blemishes I might have, redness of my skin or discoloration. And then I'm just taking um, a concealer br brush and blending that in. And after I do the blush, I just pat it again with my fingers. Make sure everything is blended in because the natural warmth, warmth of your fingers will pat it into your skin and distribute very nicely. After I'm done with that, I'm taking the same Dream Wonder powder from Maybelline and I'm just putting this with the same crisp brush all over my skin making sure that I'm setting the concealer as I go and I'm taking the same dream um, brush I'm taking a sibling brush by Clinique I believe yep and I'm just stippling this onto my face because in 8th grade I definitely got more into using brushes and I got some new brushes and I'm taking this Maybelline color Stay tattoo 24 hour. Um, it's not actually a tattoo, <laughs> duh. But it's just a cream eyeshadow, and I love this because you don't need any brushes. You can just take it on your finger and do it, and it is like a champagne color. And all this does is just gives you a little bit of color to your eyelids, and this looks it works really good because it's really fast and it makes you look like you put a little time and effort into your routine. After I'm done with that, I'm taking the same the Rocket Volume Mascara by Maybelline and putting this on my eyelashes again with a heavier coat because as I go on with my years of middle school, I progress in how much makeup I wear. And I'm doing the same thing to the other eye. I'm just applying it to my bottom lashes, and yeah, I'm taking the same eyeliner pencil and I'm lining my tight line again, and after I'm done lining my tight line, I'm just putting it a tiny bit on my waterline. I like this because it just defines the shape of your eyes and makes your eyes pop. And I think it looks super good. And after that, I'm taking the same smoochy stuff because I think this really works for 7th and 8th grade. I'm putting a little more on for 8th grade. And if you want, you can apply a lip gloss, but I thought this was already very shiny as it is. And that is a whole 8th grade look. Okay, so that was all three of the makeup looks. I hope you guys enjoyed and found some of this helpful. All of the products will be listed down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you later. Bye! Food is bae! Yum! Mm -hmm.